so nowadays increasingly i see patients coming in the age group of 18 to 22 years that is too young and i see that they have lost a lot of hair something whenever i ask them they'll say my father had less hair my grandfather had less hair but they lost it at the age of 35 or 40 years of age why am i losing it so fast so this is where epigenome comes in now what does epigenome consist of well it consists of <clears throat> all the things that you eat to provide nutrition it can be good nutrition it can be bad things also additives preservatives etc then the amount of stress you have the cortisol level that is produced in our body in response to stress is not good for our cells in a basic way then the environment of course the air we are breathing the water which is falling on top of our body through the on top of our skin all these things <clears throat> plus any acute illness if you have seen recent times this viral uh, pandemic after the viral disease of people used to notice a lot of telogen effluvium so what is telogen effluvium telogen effluvium is when a lot of stem cell go into a resting phase they are not multiplying so what is happening to the hair it has it cannot multiply it cannot form new hair tissue so it basically goes into a sleep mode and you notice a lot of hair fall almost like this that is telogen effluvium but if you see at a basic level at the cellular level at the genetic level then you come to understand that it is that the stem cells the dermal papilla cells need those nutrients to multiply and they need a need a healthy environment so that they can multiply so these two things which we can control the first thing is by using good supplements like omega acids biotin there are a host of other things which we can supply to our body now all of these things will reach the blood vessels also then there are things which can protect your hair follicles now the things which can protect your hair follicles they include different things like resveratrol grape seed extract and omega acids omega acids as you must have heard a lot they are derived from fish you can have have them daily they are good for you now comes the resveratrol recent research shows that if we administer resveratrol into the skin not just orally into the skin now there are different ways of introducing it into the skin by micro needling also and by micro tattooing also we'll come to that later on but if we introduce them into the skin they found that they remove the oxidative stress from the hair follicles they help the stem cells start multiplying the stem cells then start multiplying and they go into a anagen phase the more stem cells multiplying the more the hair will grow and that is why it will be called a anagen phase whereas if the cells go into a resting phase then the hair will not grow and that will be called the telogen phase so when they use resveratrol and also grape seed extract grape seed extract is obtained from the seeds of the grapes so we see here two things both from grapes so when we use grape seed extract also again into the skin then they found that it protected the hair follicles and <clears throat> signal to the hair follicles so that the stem cells and the dermal papilla they start multiplying actively i personally advise my patients to combine both the approaches have the supplements have the necessary nutrients for your hair they are the fastest growing organ of your body they need those nutrients so don't think of supplements only like uh, medicines for some illness it's not malaria it's not because of some mosquito bit you if you want to think of baldness think of it as a lifestyle disorder you are leading a bad lifestyle that is why you are losing hair at a younger and younger age so correct the lifestyle Correcting the lifestyle will not remove baldness forever but it will make sure that you may be lose hair much later on in life. So resveratrol 
and grape seed extract both of these were used on mice also and on human dermal papilla cells also and in both the instances they found that the hair follicles started multiplying so that the hair follicles started growing becoming thicker that is what we want if a person is having thinning hair that is what is the, that is what he is looking for so this is where i have been advising my colleagues also and my patients also take benefit from the recent research this is anti aging research it has proved that hair follicles even though it proved inadvertently because they were not looking to grow hair they were looking for anti aging products but what they found was that wherever they use these anti aging products the hair follicles started growing back strongly in some instances even gray hair started turning black so this is what i say is pointing to this factor that our hair loss is not only because of dht it is because of a combination of lack of nutrients of oxidative stress both of this combining to make the hair follicle weak and then dht also damaging it at that juncture so dht blockers like finasteride they by themselves will not recover all your hair that is why you don't see success stories like okay i had hair fall i had a lot of hair fall and i recovered all my hair and now for 20 years i have my hair back you won't see that with such medicines i have been using this since uh, recent research it came around in november 2021 i have been using resveratrol and grape seed extract transdermally in the scalp through micro needling and i have had great success with it my patients have all also had good success what you will notice is initially the rapid hair fall will reduce that is called the hair pull test you pull your hair and see how many hair comes in your hand now when they are doing micro needling with the derma roller you can see how it is done i have made a recording of it on my youtube channel you use the derma roller move it like this on your scalp the there are tiny puncture holes created so then you apply resveratrol and grape seed extract serum like this one so resveratrol and grape seed extract serum when you apply it on top of those puncture wounds it gets absorbed uniformly into the scalp and reaches to the level of the hair follicle dermal papilla the roots the stem cells where they are located so that is how we can harness the benefits of modern scientific advances we have already used resveratrol and grape seed extract with lots of benefits we are looking into other supplements especially nicotinamide mononucleotide or nmn fisetin which is a senolytic drug and calcium alpha ketoglutarate i'll keep you posted on those advances also these are very interesting times if you have any questions and if you want to start these things for yourself at your home because you don't need to visit a doctor for this ask me send me your pictures i will be able to guide you so send them to me by whatsapp or by email and remember this is very important information and knowledge share it with your friends and all people who are losing hair share it with with your doctors also because i cannot treat all of you so that everyone comes to know why these new treatments are really beneficial for you at the same time they are very safe also so like share and subscribe to my channel it really helps thank you